All right, hey guys, real quick, um, I wanna talk about a Kershaw drill progression. Kershaw, obviously the name comes from Clayton Kershaw, who in his delivery has this little mechanism here. There's two different components to what makes a Kershaw drill. And to highlight what the drill is, it's literally just mimicking Kershaw's delivery, but for two different components, like I said. Where is the direction of our drive phase? Is it towards our desired target or is it out and then around okay like more of a crossfire so we're just trying to highlight and maximize directional purposes for a kershaw drill similar to this if it is a direction purpose i would encourage someone to throw counterbalance in their glove to overemphasize front side stability but simple as kershaw drill leg lift down and now as soon as i come down i'm taking this front foot picturing this front foot in space as much as I can in line with my back foot. So I'm keeping a line. If you wanna get even more fancy, you can do a dry progression of like a wall in front of you, coming down from your leg lift and not getting that foot to go off the wall. Again, we're not trying to change your delivery in this drill progression, but we are trying to highlight just how your direction is, okay? That's, if that's a breakdown for you, we're trying to overemphasize your direction, okay? So again, it's just a throw, could be plyos, could be a baseball, whatever, just up, down, taking that front foot linear towards our desired task. So Kershaw, balance, yikes, down, okay? Towards our desired task. Um, and then the second, the second way I would use a Kershaw drill is to in instill hand, feet, tempo, and rhythm. I've talked about this a lot in terms of what, I, what my beliefs are with the hands are gonna match the feet, the feet are gonna match the hands in terms of tempo and rhythm. Rhythm promotes timing. We want to be in rhythm, we wanna maximize timing. So a good Kershaw drill that you can do for that is feeling increased tempo. Your tempo could either be initiated from your hands going up and then your foot following, or your feet going up and then your hands following. For me, if you look at it in super slow motion, I'm just trying to go at the same exact time and I'm trying to instill that rhythm uh, or that pendulum, if you will, right? Like a layup, if you go up with your left, right goes up, it's like puppet tier, I guess. So Kershaw drill for rhythm and timing and tempo. I'm trying to overemphasize how quickly can I take my front foot off the ground and that raises my hands. So wherever you want to start your hands, boom, down. Okay, now what we'll do and what I'll try to do with a lot of guys is go three reps into the throw. It's gonna look like this. Okay, so get creative, play around with it. Obviously, we don't want you thinking about the tempo rhythm component and then also thinking about the directional component, right? Segment, be intentional, be smart, don't overload the brain, and hopefully that drill progression made sense, and hopefully you find use of it. Go get them.